All right, guys. Uh, good news. The uh, on GunLearn.com they had posted up that uh, Rare Breed filed their civil suit against the ATF and DOJ, and they're basically asking a federal judge to force the ATF to admit the FRT is not a machine gun under federal law and return all the property that they've seized. Um, I've said from the beginning that the, the the tech branch, which uses zip tie to come to the conclusion that an FRT at 15 is a machine gun, they should have compared the FRT to the 3MR, which they had approved, uh, because you can make both of them fire like that uh, with the right amount of pull weight on the zip ties uh, on attack on 3MR. You know, it, they both could do that. Um, should have checked that, but when does approval matter, right? Uh, they can change their mind. Um, the you know the 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 3MR does the same thing. They both force a reset on the rearward travel of the operating system, right? And depending on the pull weight, the 3MR can fall back on the disconnector, or you can pull the trigger as soon as the carrier's far enough forward, not all the way back in battery even which is a safety issue, which exists with most all AR triggers, but it's just one of those things. The uh, problem with pistol caliber carbines is a clear videos I've talked about, right? Um, the, uh, the FRT has a locking bar that keeps the trigger from being pulled until it's back in the battery, which I have called the safety bar, and I have said before that it's the safest semi-auto AR trigger. And I, I know this may seem silly to some people, but I think it's a point worth driving home, since gun safety seems to be so important uh, to these people against guns, right? Now, I think Rare Breed is our best chance at having the bump stock ban and a lot of this stuff undone. When Trump, well, here more importantly, after Vegas happened, Congress called the ATF in, and the ATF multiple times, and the ATF said every time, we're, we have there's no, we have no power under federal law to regulate bump stocks. In fact, we've approved some of these designs, right? Outright. It's your job, Congress. Trump said, no, no, no. We're going to ban bump stocks. You're going to do it, and it'll be fine. And it worked. And that influenced the worst elements in that bureaucracy. That's what Trump handed to them. He handed the baton to say, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> What's anybody going to do? Let's face it. And that was the attitude. And that's the result. That's what happened. After the bump stock ban, the ATF realized, well, we can do whatever we want. And they have. The solvent traps, completely legal. You can have as many solvent traps as you want, right? And if you want to file a Form 1 and turn one into a silencer after the form's approved, you can legally do that. Never a problem. Never. Now, you're a felon. 80% receivers, parts bought with 80% receivers, all these things, never a problem. Now they are. Arm braces, the only question ever existed and went back and forth over the years was whether or not putting an arm brace to your shoulder was a redesign or not. But now, how big is it? How little is it? Does it have iron sights? Does it have a red dot? Does it have a scope? Does it look funny? Well, now it's now it's an SBR. Why? Not, not because any law was passed, but because they say it so. So, I now, if the bump stock ban was undone, I think it would undo a lot of this because it's going to show that, like everyone's talked about, that Chevron deference doesn't apply in criminal statutes or whatever. Bottom line at the end of the day is you can't just go making up stuff, especially stuff that, you know, common common practice or common common use or common whatever like this has been the common practice to these things have been legal up until they were deemed without a law to not be legal it's it's ridiculous but i just want to reiterate that i have always held that if these guys can be successful that it's going to do a whole lot of good for it, everybody because it's even if we don't like the law, it needs to be intelligible and understandable. And all this stuff has done is made this impossible on any level. Because when someone can just whim it so, well, then anything goes. And that's how we've gotten here. It's it's very sketchy way to have to live our lives. Anyway, this is good news. Everybody have a good rest of your week. Um, if I miss something or there's any questions, put it down in the comments. And, of course, if I see anything else, I will definitely 
share it with you guys. Have a good one. Laters.